Crayons are a staple item for school kids. Now we're going to see how they're made. Paraffin wax is what makes the crayon write smoothly. The wax is melted and mixed in with a non-toxic powder. These are combined into large vats where the dye is added to give the crayons their vibrant color. You can see how all the ingredients are mixed together in preparation for the casting process. Now we will see the casting process. The thoroughly mixed liquid is poured into a reusable mold. In this video, small nozzles pour the mixture onto the mold. The liquid then fills this mold. No pressure or fillers are required to fully fill the mold. A process of material removal is performed on the excess wax at the top of the mold. A simple blade shears off the wax. The multiple use mold is made of metal and provides the shape the crayons have. The individual crayons are extracted by a small metal bar to eject the crayons and empties the mold for the next round of liquid. The ejected crayons are moved up to a conveyor for cooling and transported to the next process. Now we're going to take a look at adhesive bonding in crayon manufacturing. As we know, adhesive bonding adjoins the surfaces by filling the gap between each surface with a bonding material such as glue, cement, thermoplastic, thermosetting, and elastomers. Specifically for crayon manufacturing, the use of frictional heat is important. It is generated by the movement of the adhesive on a firm, dry surface to cause the adhesive to soften at the point of contact and become less cohesive and more adhesive than in the unactivated and unsoftened state. This frictionally activated adhesive was then in condition to be spun on the body of the crayon by the same motion of the crayon, which produced this frictional heat. 